In this episode of Puzzle Time, we have two brand new puzzles from one of our favorite puzzle designers, Yu Isaka. Now you might remember his Jigsaw Puzzle 19, Jigsaw Puzzle 29, Ice Puzzle 9. He has a whole bunch of different puzzles that we loved at Puzzle Master. These are acrylic packing puzzles, very much like the other ones. There's Jigsaw 16, Bird 11. They are phenomenal puzzles. We had a lot of fun doing them. Check them out in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 110 of Puzzle Time at Linnea. We have got two brand new puzzles from Uesaka uh, today. So I'm, I'm excited for these. If you haven't, aren't, aren't familiar with Uesaka, he's done Jigsaw 29, Jigsaw 19, uh, Ice, Ice Puzzle 9, uh, Wave Oleo, 7. What's Oleo? 10. 10. Oleo 10, yeah. What's your favorite of his? Uh, I like the Ice 9. It looks yeah. the coolest to That's me. That's what I thought too. I, I think Ice 9 was fun. I think I enjoyed doing Jigsaw 19 though the most. Um, but uh, I, I feel like Jigsaw 19 maybe is one of the easier of the ones that he's done before. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're mostly level 10s. But these are really good. Um, these are new. These are a little easier I'd say than some of the other ones he's done before. And they have a similar design uh, to each other I think. And a little different than the other stuff he's done. So let's get them in, into them. Uh, we're gonna start with the Bird 11. Now, I, I've gotta say first off, I really like Yuasaka's packaging. I think they look cool. Um, I like the clean design, yeah, the clean design in the front. And then he's just, yeah, got some pictures on the back. But I really like these. Um, so let's, let's crack it open here. I like the matte coloring on them. I think that's Yeah, he's, that's both of these have like this matte finish on the front, and I really do like that. Um, Enjoy that. So let's let's try to do it. Do you uh, essentially? So these are packing puzzles, like what the other stuff he's done. You got to pack these pieces into the frame, and obviously they're going to fit in unique ways that you're uh, maybe not going to see coming. So let's let's try to do this one really quick. Let's see if we can get it here. So I think the idea on this one is that these look like like bird poop, right? Like bird poop splattered on a sidewalk. Oh, okay. I think that's what it's like a top view, like so. Yeah. That's why it's called Bird Eleven, I think. Or are these supposed to look like birds? But I think it, I think it just looks like bird poop. Boy, where do you where do you fit this three piece one? Yeah, that's what I found. Some of the, like there's a couple of really bizarre pieces. Yeah, that like, I actually don't know where like, where does this. It mean? was one where right it's here? like uh, right here, I think. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, up there. Hold on, my puzzle mine's oriented differently. There's there we go. No. Okay, wait. How is mine? Let me let me just orient our puzzles the same way. There we go. Hmm. I don't know if I can get that okay. one in. Cool. I like it. I like the matte finish with combined with the glossy stuff underneath. I think that's the really cool part, hey? Where you can kind of see like it's the matte finish on top with the gloss on the underneath. So I, I like that look. Um, yeah. So there it is, Bird 11. Yeah, I got down to two. close down to two? I'm down to two as well. So there we go. We both got down to two. Close-ish. We're not going to solve it today. But let's put Bird 11 off to the side. And let's move on to our second puzzle for the day, Jigsaw 16. Again, that really classic. I like the Uesaka packaging that he does. It says target time on the back is 30 minutes. Huh, I'm 15 minutes on the Who bird. Can, I guess over time, like we just did for a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. I can see it with these ones are a little bit easier. They're yeah, only they're, a level seven and eight. So. They're definitely a little easier, easier than his other stuff. Um, you can see on the back here, he kind of shows off the puzzle a bit too. I like that he can, you can make it into square as well. Like is that a shows, second part? I think that might be a second part. I don't know if it, like, it completely That'd be interesting. fits a square, but he fit his pieces together. 
It doesn't say that. Because that's the, back. the way maybe he cuts them right in a square and then he. Maybe. So maybe there's two solutions. You have to figure out how to make that. That would be, in See, like, be really fit interesting together if you there. could make like another shape outside the 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 frame. <laughs> doesn't I? I mean, it doesn't look like there. That's part of the the solution here, but you can see they're already starting to fit together in the yeah. shape. But okay, well let's uh, let's try. Let's try get this one. See if maybe we can slap this one in uh, and get the get it solved. Oh my gosh, I remember there was one piece that's really ridiculous, and it only fit in one spot. Oh really? I'm trying to remember which piece it is now. So these pieces, I mean, look at this though. Okay, this is interesting because I feel like the color of the piece doesn't quite match the color on the box. I feel like it's more like a blue and the, the box looks more like purpley. Hey, let's even look here. It almost looks more purple than blue. Oh, yeah. Well, the pieces definitely are very blue. And I don't know if, what, if that's going to show up totally on camera here, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I can't get it focused. Okay. That's See this cool. one, it was one of these pieces. It doesn't fit in this normal shape. It has to fit in one of the other shapes. So your pieces aren't going to fit exact. So, you know, I think I'll enjoy this one because this is a lot more um, like trial and error, kind of like what Jigsaw 19 was. Yeah. So interesting too. Like, look, look at this. This one fits in, but it the the bubble, the nub here is bigger than what um, the piece is. Yeah, so it's not necessarily going to fit where you think it's going to fit. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. So there's been spinning. There's a lot of trial and error in this one. Hmm. Yeah, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily about logic in this one. It's more trying yeah, to figure out. Yeah, again, try trial and error. I think that's I think that's definitely the key key to this one is trying lots of different spots and it is not easy fitting these in. I will say that. Because like you could miss you could completely miss an orientation of the the puzzle of the piece too and Oh, I thought I had one. I thought I had one that fit perfectly. It doesn't. Though, yeah, there's one that almost fit perfectly here. It's like a little yeah, tiny bit off. I was really hoping that there was one that was going to fit perfectly into the space. But maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, and he's got his name on the back here. Let's focus. There it is. Jigsaw 16, Yu Asaka. It's crazy how popular he got so fast. Like how he sold on our website when yeah, he first came Yusaka's out. Yeah, stuff now just went nuts. Like people were crazy into it. And now like Kaniyama's making some some Yuasaka stuff. Um, yeah, he's definitely definitely a new designer that that kind of came in with a bang. I, I really I really enjoy his stuff though. Um, I feel like like he's creative within like a very similar style. But there's a lot of creativity in what he does. I think. Hmm. Cool. That's I like so it. Jigsaw right. 16 and uh, Bird 11. Cool. Well, there's a couple uh, new Yuasaka puzzles that'll be available on our website, puzzlemaster.ca. Um, yeah. Let's jump into the uh, online the buzz. Online buzz. Okay. Like usual, we have three different online buzz uh, buzzes that we'll show you. Um, we'll start with Beats and Pieces. Now, Beats and Pieces is a French. Uh, youtuber out of is he out of france i think he's out of yeah. france yeah so uh he did a video called designing my first puzzle for the mechanical puzzle secret santa uh so what he did so okay let me just start again well so the mechanical puzzle discord now if you haven't heard of that discord is another like platform for social media um uh, and there is a mechanical puzzle chat essentially on there um that you can go join that has a lot of different puzzle designers, puzzle people out there. It's become very, very popular. Now there is a secret Santa, I guess, that they did on the Mechanical Puzzle Discord that Beats and Pieces is part of. So I think the idea with that is you make your own puzzle, you send it out to someone, and you get a lot of rare puzzles or one one-time puzzles, stuff that you've never seen before. I think it's a really cool idea. Now he designed his own puzzle for this, and it was called the um, Rainier. No, was Reindeer. it Reindeer? Reindeer. No. Poop. It was the poop poop lock. Yeah. By, by Reindeer Poop. So I think he's playing off the whole like Reindeer Pop, who is a designer of really expensive puzzle locks, um, high end, high end puzzle locks. Reindeer Pop is his name. So this is a play on his name, Reindeer Poop. Um, and it's the poop lock. Now it's a three, what he did is he made a 3D printed puzzle lock. I thought it looked really awesome. 
He does not show the solution. He, he actually is putting it together in parts and he like blurs it out. So you can't see what he's actually doing. But I liked it. Watch the video. There's lots of stuff there. You'll even see some of the, uh, there's like a chat that they have like with a whole bunch of the mechanical puzzle discord people. So um, yeah, go check out his video. He even opens a couple of his um, uh, secret Santa puzzles that he gets. I thought they looked really unique and interesting. And like, even like, I, I would really like to join this uh, Secret Santa thing next year. I thought it looked really cool. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's it. Um, check out Beats and Pieces. He has lots of really good videos and is, is one of the um, yeah, premier puzzle guys, I think, out there right now on YouTube that does a lot of like the really, um, if you want to call them like nerdier puzzle stuff. Um, he, he's on the inside of that. So yeah, check it out. Um, next. Linnea, do you want to talk about this next one here? Yeah, so this one is from Instagram. It's called intrism.pro is their Instagram account. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, their their puzzle is kind of like a marble maze mixed with like, so it's like two companies I'll say is U-Gears mixed with Perplexus. Yeah. So you know those big Perplexus balls that have yeah. the maze that goes through? Where you're running like a like a steel ball bearing through the maze. I, yeah. I really like those. And they're in like a frame. This one was a square plastic frame with a wood style like the inner part was wood and you actually can build it yourself and then you run your marble through the wooden maze yeah yeah i thought it was neat so it had the, the clear acrylic on the outside and then the wood on the inside and they just look really good we watched a bit of them on um dope or nope we watched them do uh do some stuff because the, uh, the dope or nope guys are very uh popular on youtube not so much my style, but yeah. Uh, yeah, they did do some of the, uh, yeah, this Intrism stuff. So. I think the Intrism guy sent it to them. Usually they go around and search on Amazon, okay. but I think this guy sent it to them. Yeah. I'm not 100% These sure. These are cool. Do, I, no, was, where, where, Intrism, what was their site? Intrism.com? Intrism.pro. Yeah. No, that that was not their site. Dot com, I think, oh, was their okay. site. The, we we got confused a little bit, but they had they have two different models of these. It looks like because they're out of the United States. They make it. I think it was out of Ohio somewhere. Um, yeah. But they had two different models. They had the Pro model, and then they had the Mini. I think it was. They were big. Like I was actually really surprised. I think the Mini is six inches by six inches, so it was like probably even a little bigger than one of these uh, Uesaka puzzles. Um, yeah. That way, and it's three dimensional, obviously. Um, and then the big one was like it, was, it looked like it was like a like a one foot cube almost. And so I I really liked them. I thought they were super cool. I like Perplexus. So do you like per Perplexus? Uh, I get frustrated after a while yeah. with them because you have to like it's it's so hard to not have the ball fall off the maze is, on certain yeah. turns. Well, it gets it gets more and more hard as you go yeah. on, right? Like in this one, he they said there's like a really weird turn that you have to like do some weird move to get it to stay on the track because it looked mm -hmm. like it wouldn't stay on the track during the turn. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how the difficulty compares to Perplexus, but I like these. I, I also like U-Gears. So I, like like you said, it's a mix of Perplexus and U-Gears, and I thought they were really cool. I thought the website was really good too when we went and checked out Intrism.com. So um, just really good stuff. So I, I'd go check it out. Um, I don't know if there was a whole lot of videos. But there were some videos on the Yeah, they had a couple of videos right? of their stuff, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So in Trism.pro was their, was Instagram that, was that their Instagram, their Instagram handle? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next and uh, is Puzzle Guy. And we haven't talked about Puzzle Guy for a little while here, but we talk about him lots because I, I, Puzzle Guy is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love, love Yvonne's stuff. He does really good things. And uh, he had the Santa's cabin. Now, was this part of that? Uh, I believe it was, part, it was part of, part of the, part of the puzzle thing. Yeah, Puzzle Guy is part of the mechanical puzzles. Secret Santa, same thing as what Beats and Pieces is. Puzzle Guy showed off the puzzle he got, though. Or was it part of the puzzle advent calendar? Oh, there was maybe another it was one. Puzzle advent calendar, actually. Yeah, maybe that right. sounds more familiar. I don't know. Maybe it was. Okay. Either way, he got this puzzle. It's a one, one puzzle, one of one. Uh, no one else has it, but it was called the Santa's cabin. Now, my understanding was is from what he said is it's made by a guy who does twisty puzzles usually but this guy made a essentially a sequential discovery mechanical puzzle and it was this big wooden cabin like it, it looked big like it was not small and it was uh made out of wood it's supposed to be santa's cabin obviously and then there's like four doors on it and the doors opened up i really enjoyed the um unique style of how he opened things it was it was in a way I've never seen before. I've never seen someone who did this mechanism on the inside. Yeah. Um, pretty simple, I'd say, the mechanism was. It was not difficult or hard. I wouldn't say this was a hard puzzle, but the mechanism got really got me thinking. And so 
go watch Puzzle Guy's video. Um, I won't ruin it for you, but there is a, a really, really cool mechanism on this and the way it worked inside. Um, and yeah, like I, it he was said, the designed. mechanism was so like intense to the point that to put it back together, he thought he might have to take it apart. Yeah, that that is the problem. Actually, that that'd be one of the problems I'd see with with this style of mechanism, at least the way the guy did it is that putting it back together would be pretty difficult. So yeah. I won't give it away, but I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the video. Puzzle Guy just does such good stuff. He has, has great, great content, um, and I enjoyed that. So um, he also actually really quickly wanted to talk about, we had our Kickstarter campaign there that is, by the time this video comes out, it'll be over. As we shoot it, it's not quite over. But uh, Puzzle Guy did a solve of the skull puzzle. Now, um, that puzzle is insanely hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. we had disassembled it on here and it took us quite a while. It took us a while to disassemble <laughs> yeah. it. And assembly is going to be like infinitely harder. Um, I think it took Puzzle Guy about five minutes to disassemble, which yeah. he wasn't expecting. Because that's what the, me too. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting when you disassemble it, it would just fall apart. But if you haven't seen the skull, um, go check out our Kickstarter campaign. I'm sure they'll be available on our website probably about the time this video comes out or somewhere in there. Um, but go check out Puzzle Guy's solve of it because it was great. He followed, in order to solve it, he followed the Burr Tools file, which Burr Tools is a computer program that you, you use to design Burr puzzles. And it'll essentially show you the solve in three dimensions and it'll color, color code the pieces. And so he did that, solved it with that. And I really liked the way he did the solve because he had it sitting there and he kind of did like a stop motion thing and it looked really good. So go check out Puzzle Guy's video on the skull. And on Santa's cabin. So that's the end of our online buzz. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please click the like button, subscribe to our subscribe to our channel, and then also click the bell to get notifications when we put out new videos. Because there's always new reviews, solutions, uh, puzzle time episodes, episodes from Gregory the Puzzle Wanderer, who does something called the Puzzle Insider on our channel, and. Um, well, yeah, you do shorts too on, on our YouTube. So yeah. we have lots of content back here. Yeah, lots of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can also check us out on where the name? On Instagram, on TikTok, Facebook. Um, you can subscribe to our newsletter. You get lots of notifications on that. There's our Facebook Live we do once a week on Thursdays at 3.30. Yep, yep. Oh. And the newsletter subscription is on puzzlemaster.ca, our website, where most of our stuff is done. That's where a lot of, uh, yeah, you can find all our puzzles and, um, stuff that you saw here today like these uh two new uesaka puzzles 16 and 11 bird 11 jigsaw 16 that's the end of our episode thank you guys for watching we'll see you uh next time on episode what 111